Hello and welcome Bamberton fans to Bamberton Racket Review and to this 2019 test session and today we are testing the latest version of Kawasaki's King K9. Right, as ever, we will go through the specifications and compare those to our own E-Zone test results. Um, so we have here um, a 4U, so the weight of the racket is 4U, and the E-Zone testing shows this racket to weigh 89.4 grams in total. That's with the Yonex BG65 string and the grip supplied from the manufacturer. Um, the balance of this racket is towards the head, so slightly head heavy, and the E-Zone testing shows this to be a head heavy racket. The stiffness is actually towards flexible. It's a more flexible shaft. It says here lightweight flexible shaft, and the E-Zone testing shows this to be a flexible shaft. Um, other information that's important, maximum string tension on this racket, 32 pounds, that's really good. And the racket is made in China, and the frame is 30 tons plus 40 tons of high rigid carbon fiber. And the shaft is 46 tons of high rigid Carbon fiber two and the handle is made of wood. Brilliant. And I think that is as much information as you guys are gonna need. I mean, the important thing when it comes down to um, the King or any Kawasaki racket, the exciting part is the design. And I haven't got the packaging this. If you saw the King K8 video, you would have seen the packaging these things are delivered in. and this King K9 is no different it comes in the most amazing presentation box ever uh, I don't know who is behind the Kawasaki design but seriously definitely the world's leading designers and presentation and marketers because absolute the effort that Kawasaki is going into in presenting these rackets in terms of the packaging and the design of the racket is second to nobody there is nobody better it despite all the big manufacturers no one designs or produces or finishes a racket better than Kawasaki absolutely beautifully designed racket you may not like the colors uh, the King K8 was also tremendous a tremendous racket beautiful um, this is hugely detailed it's got a massive amount of detail on it amazing amount of graphics beautifully finished really cool color selection um, take a look at these close-up jpegs and see what you think for yourself Okay, specifications are done. Let's go to the E zone. Okay, so before we start our E zone testing, what do you need to know about how we test our rackets? Well, first of all, we use the same shuttles, the Yonix AS30s on all tests. We string, restring all of the rackets with Yonex BG65 at 25 pounds tension. And it's the same player taking all of the shots. Right, now you have some basic understanding of how we test. Let's move on to the smash test. 
The smash shot that you're seeing here and for all of the rackets we've tested within Badminton Racket Reviews E-Zone, uh, we take generally six shots. We take the two highest uh, racket uh, shuttle speeds and we average those to give us a uh, overall speed. If those two uh, if those two readings are not within a certain percentage of each other, we then retake the entire test. This shot measures the shuttle speed uh, coming off the racket head and also if you go across to the E-Zone you'll see a picture similar to the one you're looking at on the screen now which accompanies every single racket within the E-Zone so that's nearly 650 or more rackets with this kind of smash JPEG showing you the racket head speed, the shuttle speed, the distance and the approximate repulsion of the racket. Okay, now we're going to do an E-Zone maneuver test. The maneuver shots was designed to tell us about the racket's acceleration abilities, its ability to shift from one direction to the other or shift quickly from nothing to full speed. It also tests the racket's um, aerodynamics. In this test, the player is sitting still with the racket and once the shuttle is fired, which we, and we measure the shuttle speed to ensure we have uh, consistency within the tests so it's coming at the same speed all the time or roughly the same speed as, as, as much as we can control anyway um, and then the player reacts once the shuttle is fired to hit the shuttle and we are measuring the head speed of the racket during that test Okay, so they're done. Now it's E-Zone control test time. The control test is a simplistic test. We've thought many, many times if there was any other better way of creating a test where we, we are uh, looking, focusing on the control of the racket and able to score it, and we so far haven't come up with anything better. So this, con this control test is essentially a test where we have 14 shots taken you're not seeing all the shots um, on the control video we, we generally film half or less of the shots taken the green bucket here scores maximum the gray scores slightly less and anything in the net or out scores nothing at all So what do we think of the King K9? How does it actually play and what would be our conclusion on this racket? Well, firstly, I think we neglected to mention in the earlier part of the video the availability and the price of this racket. The availability is, you know, we, I was slightly disappointed that the King K8, after it was reviewed and scored so well on the E-Zone, availability was an issue for... Um, some people in different parts of Europe. Um, we know there is, if you're looking to buy these, we know that Kawasaki Poland um, do sell them. We know that there is a Kawasaki outlet in the UK. We're not sure as of yet if they are selling them though. So what we've done is we will be selling them at our racket store, which is www.badminton-racket-review.com. We will sell these for 99 pounds, which is a really good price. Um, and that £99 makes all the difference as to what we think 
in terms of the performance of this racket and our overall recommendation for it. Firstly, for £99, in the current range of rackets that we're testing, um, this racket is as good as any of the rackets that we've tested in the last year, really. There's nothing about this racket in the way it plays that leaves it behind anyone or any other rackets, including the more expensive Astrox rackets, including the more expensive Victor rackets, the Aura Speeds, and including the, uh, and you know how much respect that we have for the Aura Speeds. We like the Aura Speeds, great rackets, but they're 100, when they were released, they were 180, 180 pounds and now they're probably down to 135, still way above the King K9 price. And this is far easier and far friendlier to use than the Astrox rackets. Um, yeah, I think it's, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything better than it really. You know, you, you can spend less money and get similar performance, but you cannot spend less money and get similar performance and the design integrity and build quality the whole package that this delivers is absolutely phenomenal you do feel like you have something premium in your hands with this racket so on that basis and when you take into consideration it's it does everything really well i would say there's nothing particularly bad about this racket if anything i would have wished for it would for it to be a little bit quicker in the air it does feel it can feel a little slow but despite that it actually gets to everything so defensively you're not going to struggle it has really decent level of control has loads of power um this this racket is 100 percent. so it so to be clear it's key strengths or it has good power and really good control but everything else it does reasonably well too no it does good Everything else it does good at. So the recommendation for this racket is 100% yes. Go buy this racket. If you are the sort of person that is looking for a premium racket, it's going to be difficult to top this. It really is. You know, we've tried a lot of rackets now, and the perfect racket may come through one in so many. Well, and even then, it's not perfection. You know, Producing the perfect racket is not an easy task. This runs it close um, because it's beautifully presented. I mean, what a racket. Whether you like it or not, the design and colours, it's absolutely, the detailing, this is like a Bentley or a Rolls-Royce in terms of design and the detailing it's got. You know, if you look at the way it's been produced, absolutely amazing. And then the performance to add to it. Absolutely great, really good. You're not going to go on court and think, oh my God, what a waste. You're going to love using this racket. And then there's, then obviously there's the price. It's £99 for this calibre racket is a really, really good price. It's all around a win-win. Definitely go try this racket, 100% recommended. Now, the full review on how it is to use overhead, how it is to use for control, how it is to use for smash, how it is to use for defense, how it is to use for uh, uh, driving, and what sort of repulsion it gives. That's all available on the E-Zone. Uh, if you're not familiar by now, I mean, we've done so many videos, by now you've heard, uh, or you have some kind of idea what the E-Zone is. If you're not familiar with the E-Zone, it's the platform that carries all the information that we've tested and it makes the rackets comparable and also gives a kind of detailing that just simply doesn't exist or has never existed on the planet uh, or in the history of badminton. So it's definitely worth going to visit the uh, Racket E-Zone. Um, if you're not familiar with it, there will be a video tour following this video of uh, the King K9. For those of you who are familiar with it, for those of you who have bought this racket, for those of you who intend to buy this racket, do leave a review, please. If you're an E-Zone member, leave it in the E-Zone. If you're not, please leave it on YouTube or on Instagram or on Facebook. For those of you who continually support us, thank you very, very much. Really, really appreciated. Um, and for those of you who are doing your best to understand what it is I'm talking about in all of the countries across the world, thank you very much as well. 
do press the like button, do press the share button, and I will see you on the next video.